Hey, are you looking to create a Minecraft server with your friends? Well, look no further because this is the perfect video for you. But right before I show you how to get your server, make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe as it helps out a ton. And now let's get into the tutorial. The first thing we need to do to start our Minecraft server is to go to any search engine. This could be Google, this could be Bing, it doesn't really matter why you're using Bing and look up Minecraft server download. Once you have that search, go ahead and look for the Minecraft.net website. It should be the top link, but they'll go ahead and double check and make sure it does say Minecraft.net. If it does say that and it is for the Java edition, not the Bedrock edition, but the Java edition, go ahead and click it and you will find this page right here. If you look in the middle of the page, you will see the download for the Minecraft server 1.20.4 jar. That is going to be the most recent Minecraft update, and that is also going to be what you want for your Minecraft server. So go ahead and click the Minecraft server download like so. And if you were on Google like me, you can just go ahead and click this little folder icon to find this folder. However, some of you guys may be on some questionable browsers. So go to your file explorer. And once you have that open, go to your downloads page and you should find it right here. It should say server.jar and what you're going to do is going to want to grab it and drag it onto your desktop like so and it will be right here. Then go ahead and right click and make a new folder and we're going to call it the Minecraft server. That is going to be your folder for your Minecraft server and just go ahead and drag the server.jar into the Minecraft server. Now enter your Minecraft server and it will pull up this folder right here and you will see your server.jar in there as an executable file. If it does not say it's an executable file as long as with it having a little coffee logo right here, that means that you don't have Java installed and you need to go install the latest version of Java. Once that is done, go ahead and click on server.jar and then right click it and go to open with and you're going to want to open it with Java platform SE binary. However, if you don't see that there, just go to choose another app and you should see it right here and click OK. Once you do that, you're going to see a bunch of little icons show up in the folder like that. Once you have all these things in the folder, you're going to want to look for eula.txt. Go ahead and double click that and you will find that it opens up a notepad like this. Ayula is basically their agreements that they need you to agree with in order to have a Minecraft server. So make sure you go ahead and you read it. Go ahead and copy this into a browser, read it. And once you've done that, you can go replace this false with an all lowercase true. Then click file and save and you can close out of this and never open it ever again. Once you've done that, you now want to open up server.jar one more time by double clicking it. You no longer need to open it with Java as you've already done that. And it will load up this Minecraft server right here. On the right, you can see it is actually preparing our world or our spawn area. And while that is loading, you can go ahead and mess around with some of your server settings. So go to your folder and go to server.properties, right click that and go to open with and find notepad. If notepad is not there, go to choose another app and more apps and then you will find notepad under here. So go ahead and click OK. Once you're in here, I'm going to recommend the only setting that you really change is you want your difficulty to be on hard as this will actually make it easier to do a lot of things like messing with villagers and things like that. But you can go through here and you can see if there's anything else that you would like to change. And if you think everything looks pretty good and looks fine, click file, save and exit out. By this point, your Minecraft server should be done. And if I head over back over here, it does say done. Now we're going to go load up the Minecraft version that we just installed the Minecraft server on. Once you've loaded up the version of Minecraft for your Minecraft server, just go to multiplayer and go to direct connection. In here, you're going to want to type in localhost like I have it typed in here, all lowercase like this, and then click join server. This will go ahead and make you join the server like so, and I have now loaded up into my brand new Minecraft world. But there's a few problems with this right now. Like, for example, I don't have any permissions on the server. I can't go in the creative mode or mess around and do things like that. So let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Go ahead and leave Minecraft and open back up your Minecraft server little console right here. As you can see, it says players real Jaden is bad. That is my IGN. That is me on the server. And this is going to be your console box over here where you can type things in here. You're going to want to type in OP and then your IGN. So because I am real Jaden is bad, you're going to, I'm going to type in OP real Jaden is bad like so. And you will have this little notification that says that real Jaden is bad. It has been made a server operator. Now, if I go back to the Minecraft server that I was just in, I just go ahead and go game mode creative and I am now in creative mode. Now you probably want your friends to be able to play with you on this server. And in order to do that, we need to port forward your IP so that they can get that IP and join. 
However, if you decide to give your RP to someone who is not trustworthy, they can ruin you. So make sure you're being very careful on who you let play on this server. However, if you would like to avoid that completely, make sure to check out my sponsor, Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting provides high quality lag for your servers for a good price, as well as offering 24 seven customer support to click to install plugins. And if it's your first month, you can get 25% off. Check them out with the link I have in the description below. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you how to port forward because I have Xfinity and they make you download the stupid app. But there are tons of videos out on YouTube to show you how to do this. And with that, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.